Top 25 Production Planning and Control Interview Questions and Answers In the world of manufacturing and operations, production planning and control play a crucial role in ensuring efficiency and effectiveness. This video presents a comprehensive overview of the top 25 interview questions related to this essential discipline. Each question is designed to assess your knowledge and skills in production planning and control. You will also find insightful answers that can help you prepare for interviews in this competitive field. 1. Can you describe your experience with production planning and control processes in a manufacturing setting? In my previous role, I managed production planning and control for a mid-sized manufacturing company. I developed detailed schedules aligning production capacity with demand forecasts. Utilizing ERP software, I monitored inventory levels and adjusted plans based on real-time data. This ensured optimal resource allocation and minimized downtime. I collaborated closely with procurement and operations teams to streamline processes and implement lean methodologies. My efforts resulted in improved efficiency, reduced lead times, and enhanced on-time delivery rates, significantly boosting customer satisfaction. 2. How do you ensure that you meet production schedules while balancing resources and demand? To ensure production schedules are met while balancing resources and demand, I implement a robust planning process. This includes accurate demand forecasting, which allows for better resource allocation. I regularly monitor production progress against schedules and employ real-time data analytics to identify any discrepancies. By maintaining open communication with team members and stakeholders, I can quickly adapt to changes in demand or resource availability. Additionally, I prioritize flexible resource management, enabling us to shift workloads as needed without compromising quality or deadlines. 3. What is master scheduling and how do you apply it? Master scheduling is a crucial component in production planning that determines what products need to be produced, in what quantities, and when. It serves as a detailed plan that aligns production with demand forecasts, ensuring that manufacturing operations are synchronized with customer needs. To apply it effectively, I analyze historical data, integrate forecasts, and collaborate with sales and marketing teams. Regularly reviewing and adjusting the schedule allows for flexibility in response to changes, ensuring optimal resource utilization and timely delivery of products. This approach minimizes excess inventory while meeting customer demands efficiently. 4. How do you prioritize production orders and allocate resources efficiently to meet customer demands? In prioritizing production orders, I assess factors such as customer deadlines, order size, and strategic importance. I utilize a scoring system that considers these criteria to rank orders. I communicate with sales and customer service teams to align priorities with customer expectations. Resource allocation involves analyzing capacity and skills of the workforce, along with machine availability. I often implement just-in-time practices to reduce waste and ensure that resources are directed to high-priority orders, enabling timely fulfillment of customer needs. 5. Can you explain your approach to forecasting and demand planning? How do you ensure accurate capacity planning? To effectively forecast demand, I utilize historical sales data, market trends, and input from sales and marketing teams. I employ statistical techniques alongside collaboration with stakeholders to refine predictions. For capacity planning, I assess available resources, production capabilities, and potential constraints. Regularly reviewing forecasts against actual performance allows for timely adjustments. This proactive approach ensures that we align production capacity with demand fluctuations, minimizing excess inventory while meeting customer needs efficiently. 6. What strategies do you use to minimize production lead times and improve operational efficiency? To minimize production lead times and enhance operational efficiency, I implement several strategies. First, I use lean manufacturing principles to identify and eliminate waste in processes. This includes streamlining workflows and ensuring that every step adds value. I also prioritize effective communication within teams and across departments to reduce delays and misunderstandings. Implementing just-in-time JIT inventory techniques helps maintain optimal stock levels, reducing waiting times for materials. Finally, continuous training of staff on best practices ensures that everyone is equipped to perform their tasks efficiently, contributing to smoother operations. 7. How do you handle unexpected disruptions or changes in production schedules? Can you give an example? When faced with unexpected disruptions, I prioritize effective communication and rapid assessment of the situation. For instance, during a sudden equipment failure, I immediately convened a cross-functional team to evaluate the impact on production schedules. We identified alternative resources and adjusted priorities to minimize downtime. By reallocating tasks and coordinating with suppliers, we managed to maintain production flow while addressing the issue. Flexibility and collaboration were key in adapting to the situation, ensuring that we met critical deadlines without compromising quality. 8. What key performance indicators KP is, do you monitor to track production performance? In tracking production performance, I focus on several key performance indicators. These include overall equipment effectiveness OEE, which measures machine performance, availability, and quality output. I also monitor cycle time, which indicates how long it takes to produce a unit. 
First Pass Yield FPY, helps assess quality by measuring the percentage of products manufactured correctly without rework. Additionally, I track production throughput, which reflects the volume of goods produced in a specific timeframe. Regularly reviewing these KPIs allows for data-driven decisions and continuous improvement in production processes. 9. How do you collaborate with other departments like procurement, logistics, and sales for smooth production flow? Collaboration with departments like procurement, logistics, and sales is crucial for maintaining a seamless production flow. I establish regular communication channels such as cross-functional meetings and shared digital platforms to align goals and expectations. By involving procurement early in the planning process, we ensure timely material availability. Coordination with logistics helps in optimizing delivery schedules, while close collaboration with sales allows us to understand customer demands better. This integrated approach minimizes delays and enhances responsiveness, ultimately leading to improved production efficiency. 10. Can you describe your approach to inventory management to optimize inventory levels and costs? Effective inventory management involves several key strategies. First, I utilize just-in-time JIT, principles to minimize excess stock while ensuring materials are available when needed. I regularly analyze inventory turnover rates and adjust reorder points to prevent stockouts. Implementing an inventory management system allows for real-time tracking, helping to identify slow-moving items. Collaborating with suppliers for better lead times and conducting regular audits further optimizes inventory levels. This holistic approach helps balance costs while meeting production demands efficiently. 11. What production planning software or tools are you proficient in? How have you used them? I am proficient in several production planning software tools, including SAP ERP, Oracle NetSuite, and Microsoft Project. In my previous role, I utilized SAP ERP to streamline production scheduling and inventory management, allowing for real-time data access and improved decision-making. This enabled me to better allocate resources and prioritize production orders. Additionally, I leveraged Microsoft Project for Gantt chart visualization, which enhanced communication among team members and ensured that we stayed on track with project timelines and deliverables. 12. How do you ensure compliance with regulatory requirements and industry standards in production? Ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements and industry standards begins with establishing a comprehensive understanding of applicable laws, guidelines, and best practices. Regular training sessions are conducted for the production team to maintain awareness of changes in regulations. A robust documentation system is implemented to track compliance-related activities, including audits and inspections. Collaborating with quality assurance teams ensures that all processes adhere to required standards. Finally, conducting periodic reviews and audits helps identify gaps and implement corrective actions promptly. 13. Have you implemented lean manufacturing or process improvement initiatives? What were the results? In my previous role, I led the implementation of lean manufacturing principles, focusing on reducing waste and enhancing efficiency. We conducted a thorough analysis of our workflows and identified several areas for improvement. By introducing 5S methodology and value stream mapping, we streamlined processes and reduced production time by 20%. Employee engagement increased as teams became more empowered to suggest improvements. As a result, we achieved significant cost savings, improved product quality, and enhanced customer satisfaction, reflecting in a 15% increase in repeat business within six months. 14. Describe a situation where you balance production requirements, cost, and customer satisfaction in decision-making. In a previous role, we faced a significant increase in customer orders for a popular product. To balance production requirements with costs and customer satisfaction, I initiated a thorough analysis of our current production capabilities. By reallocating resources and adjusting shifts, we enhanced productivity without incurring excessive overtime costs. Additionally, I communicated transparently with customers about expected delivery timelines, managing their expectations effectively. This approach not only met demand but also maintained strong relationships with our clients, ultimately leading to repeat business and positive feedback. 15. How do you plan production schedules and set delivery dates? To plan production schedules and set delivery dates, I begin by analyzing demand forecasts and current inventory levels. Collaborating with sales and marketing teams ensures alignment on customer needs. I prioritize orders based on urgency and resource availability. Using production planning software, I create a detailed schedule that considers machine capacities and labor requirements. Regularly reviewing this schedule allows me to make adjustments based on real-time data. Communication with stakeholders is crucial, ensuring everyone is informed of timelines and any potential delays that may arise. 16. How do you analyze production and inventory reports to identify bottlenecks and improve efficiency? Analyzing production and inventory reports involves examining key metrics such as cycle times, throughput rates, and stock levels. By identifying trends and discrepancies in these metrics, I can pinpoint areas where delays occur. For instance, I might notice that certain machines frequently require maintenance, leading to downtime. In such cases, I work with the maintenance team to schedule regular checkups. 
Additionally, I assess inventory turnover rates to determine if excess stock is causing storage issues, prompting adjustments in ordering practices. This targeted approach helps streamline operations and enhance productivity. 17. Can you discuss a time you planned production during a supply chain disruption? What actions did you take? During a significant supply chain disruption caused by a vendor's factory shutdown, I had to quickly reassess our production schedule. I convened a cross-functional team to identify alternative suppliers and prioritize critical components. By revising our production plan, we shifted focus on products that utilized readily available materials. We also increased communication with our sales team to manage customer expectations. As a result, we minimized downtime and maintained service levels, ultimately fulfilling orders without significant delays. This proactive approach reinforced our resilience against future disruptions. 18. How do you create a production schedule? Walk me through your process. Creating a production schedule involves several key steps. First, I assess demand forecasts and current inventory levels to understand what needs to be produced. Next, I evaluate resource availability, including workforce and machinery. I then prioritize production orders based on customer needs and deadlines. After that, I allocate resources accordingly, ensuring that all necessary materials are on hand. Finally, I create the schedule using production planning software, regularly reviewing it to adjust for any disruptions or changes in demand. Continuous communication with relevant departments ensures alignment throughout the process. 19. Describe a time you improved a production process to enhance efficiency. What was the impact? In my previous role, we faced inefficiencies in our assembly line due to excessive manual handling. I conducted a thorough analysis and identified key areas for improvement, such as introducing automated tools for component placement. After implementing these changes, we reduced assembly time by 30%, which led to a significant increase in output. This change not only improved our production rate but also enhanced worker safety and morale, as employees could focus on more skilled tasks rather than repetitive manual work. The impact was felt across the organization, leading to higher customer satisfaction. 20. How do you ensure quality control throughout the production process? Quality control is maintained through a systematic approach that includes establishing clear quality standards, regular inspections, and training for employees. I implement a quality management system that involves continuous monitoring at each production stage. Utilizing statistical process control helps identify variations early. Regular audits ensure compliance with established standards. Engaging employees in quality initiatives fosters a culture of accountability. Feedback loops are essential. We analyze defects and customer feedback to refine processes. This proactive strategy minimizes errors and enhances product consistency. 21. Tell me about a time you managed production to meet tight deadlines. What was the outcome? In a previous role, we faced a situation where a major client requested an expedited order with a 48-hour turnaround. I quickly assessed our current production schedule and identified tasks that could be rescheduled without disrupting other commitments. By reallocating resources and implementing overtime shifts, we streamlined the workflow. Constant communication with the team ensured everyone was aligned. Ultimately, we delivered the order on time, which not only satisfied the client but also led to a long-term partnership and positive feedback that enhanced our reputation in the market. 22. Describe a situation where you identified and resolved a bottleneck in production. In a previous role, I noticed a significant slowdown in our assembly line due to a particular machine that frequently broke down. I gathered a cross-functional team to analyze the issue, and we discovered that the maintenance schedule was not aligned with peak production times. By adjusting the maintenance schedule to non-peak hours and investing in a spare part inventory, we reduced downtime significantly. This proactive approach not only improved our throughput but also increased team morale as they felt more supported in their roles. 23. How do you handle conflicting priorities or requests from different stakeholders? When confronted with conflicting priorities, I first assess the urgency and impact of each request. Engaging in open communication with stakeholders is crucial. I organize a meeting to discuss their needs, expectations, and any potential compromises. By establishing a clear understanding of each party's priorities, I can prioritize tasks effectively. Additionally, I often seek to align these priorities with organizational goals, ensuring that decisions may benefit the business. Flexibility and adaptability are key. Allowing me to adjust plans is necessary while keeping all parties informed throughout the process. 24. How do you stay updated with industry trends and incorporate new technologies in production planning? Staying updated with industry trends involves actively engaging with professional networks, attending conferences, and participating in workshops. I subscribe to industry publications and follow thought leaders on social media to glean insights into emerging technologies. Additionally, I collaborate with technology providers to evaluate the latest tools that could enhance our production planning processes. By integrating these technologies, such as advanced analytics or automation software, I can streamline operations, improve forecasting accuracy, and respond more effectively to market demands. This proactive approach ensures our practices remain competitive and efficient. 
25. Describe a time you had to persuade others to adopt a new production approach or change. How did you do it? In a previous role, I identified inefficiencies in our assembly line that impacted productivity. I proposed implementing a cellular manufacturing approach, which required buy-in from both management and the workforce. I organized a meeting to present data that highlighted potential efficiency gains and cost savings. I also invited team members to share their insights and concerns, fostering an inclusive atmosphere. By demonstrating the benefits through a pilot program, I gained support, leading to a successful transition that improved production flow and employee satisfaction. In this video, we've explored the top 25 interview questions and answers related to production planning and control. Understanding these key concepts can significantly enhance your interview preparation and boost your confidence in landing that desired role. We hope you found the insights valuable and informative. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Your support helps us create more helpful content for you. Thank you for watching.